We waited for over 10 years to get this figure and it's finally here, so let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna take a look at the new Black Series Darth Sidious. It is crazy that we had to wait for over 10 years of this line's existence to finally get the main villain from Star Wars prequels. So now the wait is over. He is finally here. But first, a quick look at the packaging. It's a standard galaxy type packaging with the window in front showing the figure. We have a nice side art mural and I love these illustrations. Back of the box gives us a short bio of the character. I'm not sure if what it says is legal, but he will make it legal. Sidious is number one in Revenge of the Sith lineup. There's nothing special at the top of the box. Here is the other side and then legal is at the bottom. So now let's open it up and let's take a look at our main Sith Lord that we were looking for. So here is Darth Sidious out of the box and right away I have to say that I love the overall silhouette of this figure. I'm a huge fan of soft goods robes. I prefer them because I love to pose these figures and plastic robes are just getting in the way and in this case they decided to go with a combination of soft goods and plastic. Because this hood is actually a plastic piece they designed it in the way so that it's in that recognizable shape which is good but on the other hand it means that you can't reveal his entire head. Maybe down the line they will give us some kind of a deluxe version of this figure that will come with uh, interchangeable heads and the hood will be removable and maybe he will get two lightsabers, his throne or, or a chair. We'll see about that but for now I'm really loving what I'm seeing here. So this is how he looks from the front, here is a look from the side and then here he is from the back. But now let's take a closer look at the details. This is probably a fully sculpted head underneath this hood. It does move a little bit side to side and uh, up and down. Unfortunately it is trapped inside of this plastic hood. Doesn't matter. The face turned out really really good. I love the way that they painted the eyes. He has that uh, menacing smile. All those wrinkles and sculpted lines. I think that Hasbro did a phenomenal job on this head sculpt. As I said the hood is a plastic piece that is sculpted to keep this uh, recognizable iconic shape. The two sides connect here on this small buckle. They did a nice job on the sculpt. They made all of these wrinkles and there is even a little bit of uh, dry brushing, a little bit of shading. So that's always nice to see. Yeah, they sculpted it in a way that it's like falling down, drapes down naturally and I like that. I think that it turned out great. For the rest of the body they used soft goods and they did a good job. This part lays on the shoulders and wraps around around the figure and then these uh, baggy sleeves and I like the way that it's uh, stitched up and you can see the stitches here but what you're gonna do it's a six inch action figure so those things will always be noticeable. There are no stitches here in the back so that's good. Overall I think that it turned out really good. From my understanding this is probably Mandalorian Luke body. The back of the legs it's good articulation. For the arms it's really difficult to reach underneath the sleeves so all that we have is the articulation and you have to be careful when articulating his uh, elbows because you can't see where the joint is so be careful not to force it and uh, maybe snap that uh, joint. And here is a look at the hands. Right hand is like a gripping hand for the lightsaber and then his left hand is his pointing hand which is also nicely sculpted. So yeah I like the overall look of this figure. I think that Hasbro did a great job on the overall sculpt and soft goods. Now let's take a look at his accessories and he does come with two accessories. His Sith lightsaber with a translucent red blade and fairly simple hilt. But from what I remember this is how his hilt look in the movie. If I'm wrong please correct me guys. The paint of the hilt is really Really nice. It's silver with a touch of gold. No lightsaber swinging effect for this guy unfortunately. I always say that that's something that uh, every lightsaber wielding character needs to have and uh, of course 
the blade is removable from the hilt. The other accessory are his alternate force lightning hands. I love the fact that they included this because I missed out on that deluxe Emperor Palpatine set with throne that uh, also came with these types of hands and uh, the only Emperor that I have is the one from Archive and that one came without these hands. So now I'm happy to see that they included those with this guy. It's a nice accessory. These uh, lighting effects are made out of a softer rubbery plastic so that's good. They probably won't snap. The hands are also really well sculpted and painted. You have this kind of uh, transition from pale skin color to the blue color of lightning so it looks really good and we can connect them to the figure and here is how that looks. This is fantastic. I'm so glad that they included these alternate uh, hands. They look amazing on this guy. This is exactly what I wanted to see from the prequel Darth Sidious. Alternate hands do not lock into Emperor's wrists because pegs have different design but it can be done with a little bit of patience. And when comparing the Emperor and Sidious underneath their robes you can see that they didn't use the same body so that's interesting. And then here he is holding his lightsaber and this is another great look for our Palpatine. Now let's take a look at his articulation. The head movement will Will obviously be limited but he can look side to side he can look up just slightly down is a bit better no rotation obviously Sidious has a nice butterfly joint arms can't rotate 360 because they are hindered by the soft goods but they can move out this much there seems to be a bicep swivel elbow that bends this much swivel in the wrists and his lightsaber holding right hand has an up and down hinge which is good for lightsaber wielding and even his finger pointing left hand has the up and down hinge which is also good and I have to mention that uh, both of these alternate hands have the in and out hinge. For the torso there is only one cut and it's down here behind the belt so that is where you'll get your rotation side to side swivel. He can bend forward only slightly. Back is a little better. Legs go out this much. They move forward this much. Back this much. On this figure we still have a tie cut so we have a swivel there. Another swivel in the knees and the knees bend this much, feet move forward this much, back a lot better, we have a generous ankle pivot and peck holes at the bottom of his feet. So this guy has a basic modern black series articulation which is always good to see. Now let's compare him to some other figures. Here he is next to the black series Count Dooku and Bandai model kit General Grievous. Here he is next to the black series Clone Wars version of Darth Maul and the SH figure arts reissued Darth Maul. Here he is with his older Emperor version and an Empire Strikes Back Yoda and this is that newer smaller body. The new prequel Yoda still hasn't come out at the time of recording of this video but he should probably scale like this guy here. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan and Anakin and then here he is with the Black Series Clone Wars versions of Obi-Wan and Anakin. Here is how he scales with the Black Series B1 Battle Droid and and the SH Figure Arts Battle Droid. Here he is next to the Black Series Phase 2 Clone Trooper and the Black Series Super Battle Droid. Here he is with the Black Series Phase 2 Shock Trooper and the Black Series Royal Guard. And finally here is how he scales with the SH Figure Arts Kenobi Darth Vader and the Black Series A New Hope Darth Vader. So that was my look at the new Black Series Darth Sidious. I'm really happy that we finally got this figure in the line. Even though I'm some Someone who usually prefers soft goods over plastic, I don't mind the combination that they chose for this guy. It turned out great. Articulation range is what you expect for a Black Series figure and for the accessories, the fact that he comes with alternate force lightning hands, that's just a cherry on the top. Would I recommend this figure? Absolutely. If you are a Black Series collector, this guy is a must have. But those were just my thoughts. Now I would love to hear yours. What do you guys think about this figure? Do you have it in your collection or not? Let me know down in the comments and stay tuned for a posing video for this figure. As always a special shout out goes to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep this channel alive. Everything that I earn over there goes into the channel content so if anyone else can join and help please do so. And if not that is also okay because you are helping simply by watching and sharing my videos. So thank you all for checking out the video, thank you for being here with me and I'll see ya in the next one.